I used to sleep through the night. I used to eat hot dogs. I used to finish every book I started reading, no matter how bad it was. Oh, and I used to be able to get up from this position without using my hand. I used to read everything I could find about life expectancy as a kid. Tables, charts, articles. My father was 52 when I was born. My mother was 41. Everybody thought they were my grandparents. So I figured I'd plan ahead, get to know how old I'd be when they died. <coughs> As a teenager, I used to marvel at my mother's uncanny ability to wake up right before I came home. There I was, trying to sneak in really late at night and not wake anybody up, and she'd be, oh, I just got up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> or, I just got up to get a drink of water. She'd give me a kiss and she'd go to sleep. When I have a, had a teenager of my own, I realized she hadn't just gotten up. <laughs> she had never gone to sleep because I wasn't home yet. I used to have more patience. I had my whole life ahead of me, but now, every day, I have to stop myself from saying something mean to someone who's doing something rude or stupid. <laughs> like the guy who stops halfway up the subway steps because he suddenly has phone service, and he has to make a phone call that's so urgent he can't walk ten more steps to get out to the sidewalk. I'm walking here! <laughs> or, or the woman pushing a baby carriage across the street against the light, reading her text messages. <laughs> Pay attention! Or my personal favorite, the people who speak so loudly on their cell phones that everyone is forced to listen to their conversation. Miss, miss, you, if you are going to speak so loudly that everybody on this bus has to listen to you, could you at least try to sound halfway intelligent? <laughs> <laughs> could you, like, not say like <laughs> every like sentence? Whatever. <laughs> I used to enjoy that my name was Suzanne. Uh, unusual, you know, not Susan. It sounded exotic. My French-Canadian mother thought it was good luck if your initials spelled a word. So my middle name was her name, Adrian. So I was Suzanne Adrienne Wilkins. S-A-W. And I used to think that that's why I was named Suzanne. But when I grew up, my mother told me that my father had another daughter named Susan from a previous marriage. Ooh. Maybe my name wasn't so special after all, and maybe I wasn't either. I used to believe the reason my mother gave me for why we moved from a house on Long Island to an apartment in Queens when I was 11. She said that it was because the commute had gotten too difficult for my father, and it was also too difficult for her to keep up with the house and garden. But after we moved, I began to suspect that the reason was financial. My father had had um, a small office furniture business, and his partner had retired. Uh, we gave up our car, my parents weren't entertaining so much anymore, and my father, who used to give me all the change in his pockets every night, started asking for it back in the morning. I started to babysit. As soon as I could get working papers, I got them, and I worked summers and evenings and weekends, and I never asked my parents for spending money again. I used to have 2020 vision, but now
yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, I'm at the restaurant. Oh, oh, okay. No, they won't. They won't let me in until you get here. Okay. Uh, it's a few blocks further north than we thought. Where exactly? <laughs> ah, 84th Street. Good. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. When I was growing up, I used to like being treated like an adult, except for the time when I was a senior in high school. My father passed out in the bathroom, and the ambulance took him to the hospital, and he was admitted for some tests. I made arrangements to meet my mother there for evening visiting hours. I was a little late, and when I got there, my mother was distraught because she said nobody would let her in to see my father. The nurse told me that our doctor wanted to speak to me on the phone. Dr. Rosa, it's Suzanne. Yeah, he passed. Tests? Passed on. Yeah, what? Yes, good, that's good, right? Mom, he passed away. I used to cross the street to avoid construction sites. I resented the way the men looked at me and the comments that they made. Now, I don't need to avoid construction <laughs> sites because the men and women don't pay any attention to me at all. And part of me resents that. <laughs> I used to teach Sunday school at St. John's Lutheran Church in Flushing, Queens. I had the little four and five year old, so it, it was religion light. <laughs> you know, I used to read a Bible story and then we'd do some arts and crafts and then we used to sing, which was my favorite part. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Boys and girls, that was wonderful. I'll see you next Sunday. As the students were leaving one Sunday, the superintendent of the Sunday school said he wanted to talk to me. Suzanne, Pastor Krupenink tells me that you have not been attending church services. You cannot continue to teach Sunday school if you are not going to church. I didn't want to tell him that with the Kennedy assassination, the King assassination, uh, the Vietnam War, and my father's death, I had lost my faith. So what I said was, oh, I, I've been going with my boyfriend on Sundays to his church. That wasn't the answer he wanted. And it's the only job I have ever been fired from. <laughs> I used to think that I had the whole parenting thing figured out. I was a teacher and good with kids. The first summer my son went to sleepaway camp, I thought he would enjoy getting lots of letters. So I told my husband that we should write to him separately. Several years later, my son told us that at the time, he was afraid we were getting divorced <laughs> because we were writing to him separately. I used to believe that people were basically kind and good. And you know what? I still do. Yeah. Yeah.